Hello guys, me Austin Nelson here. And guys, the Washington Nationals are up two games to nothing in the World Series against the Houston Astros. Let's go baby, let's go Nets baby, let's go Nets. Oh man, like, it has been pretty for the Houston Astros, especially in game two, as the Nationals win 12, yes. 12 to 3. 12 to 3. <laughs> like, oh man, just make me smile, man. And I, and I love Justin Verlander. I do. I love Justin Verlander. I've been a fan of him since you know, the Tigers. But, uh, he still has not won in the World Series, man. It, it, it must suck. Especially to have a ring, but not have that win. He couldn't get it done tonight. What a 7th inning by the, by the Nationals. Kurt Suzuki starts it off with a solo home run. And and the Nationals are also, I believe, I think, believe the hottest team with two outs. Like, it's just unbelievable. And it don't matter what your record is, man. It don't even matter. It doesn't matter. As you can see, the first inning, Washington scored two. And so did Houston. So I was like, okay, maybe, maybe that might be it. Maybe, you know, there'll be like, I mean, a couple more runs, and then, you know, maybe the Astros probably will win it, but no. No. The Astros don't score until the ninth inning, which was just a solo home run, so it really doesn't even matter, so. And if you count the seventh inning until the game was over for Washington, they scored a total of 10 runs during that span. 10 runs. And they're the first team ever to to hit a home run in the 7th, 8th, and ninth inning in one game. Just insane. It's just crazy, man. Just And Cabrera, he finally redeemed himself. I know he had two RBS before that, but he, was, he did not have a good... And LDS, in my in my opinion, but he really came out in game two and really did his thing. Like just unbelievable, un, just insane. Just Steven Strasburg pitched six innings, gave up seven hits, t two runs, two earned runs, seven Ks, and one and one ball. Joseph Verlander, six innings as well, seven hits, four runs, four earned runs, six Ks, and three walks. Joseph Verlander just has not been himself. Like besides really game two of the ALDS, he really hasn't like like yeah he yeah he had like a, a like me like a couple bad innings against the Rays, but it's like still in game four. What was the game? Yeah yeah game four. But, but you know, you have to win that game and you have to have a better performance tonight. He didn't lie, I don't think he only last what, three innings? But, it's just insane, man. Two wins away, but really, I'm focused on winning that game three first on Friday. You know, let's focus on that. Instead of getting to the, too close to the future, you just never know what could happen. It's gonna be in Nationals Park. Oh, I'm excited for that. I'm excited, man. World Series in DC, man. Washington, is, Washington baseball team is about time. You know they haven't done something like this since, since they won the pennant in 1933, but they did not win the World Series that year. So Turner. Had four bats with two runs, one hit, two strikeouts, add an Eden, four bats, two hits, one run, two RBIs, one home run. Anthony Rundown, four, four bats, one hit, two RBIs. Soto, three at bats, two runs, one, one hit. No RBI, but man, 
Like, what that kid is doing, man, she's insane. Like, what he did in game one, he was three for four. He was three for four with a home run, a double. And I believe, what was it, three RBIs? Like, just insane. And he was only the fourth guy, only the fourth 20-year-old to do that. And I believe with his age, he's probably the youngest, if not number two. Like, it's insane what that kid is doing. Three home runs this postseason. He has, what, 10 RBIs? Something like that? Like, insane. How he can, like, five at-bats, one run, two, two hits, one RBI. Cabrera, five at-bats, one, one run, two, two hits, three RBIs. He did to get struck out three times, but three RBIs are huge. Ryan Zimmerman, five at-bats, two hits, one RBI. Kurt, Kurt Suzuki, Five at bats, one run, two hits, one RBI. Robus, three at bats, two runs, and two Ks. Taylor, he also had, he had a solo home run in the ninth inning. I only see I only saw Rowan replay a bit. I actually missed it. One at bat, one run, one hit, one RBI, and one home run. It was a solo. And pretty much you could look at a stat that side Alex Bregman with that two run shot. The Astros really just they really just did not look the best hitting man. They really didn't. You know, they had a total of nine hits, but they had an error. Washington had fourteen hits. There was two errors but fourteen hits. Just insane, man. Insane in game one, we won five to four. It was a very close game. It was a really good game. And we finally, finally hit against Garrett Cole. Some like finally did it. It's about time. Like, I cannot believe we got past Garrett Cole, man. It's like nothing phases this Washington team. Nothing does. It don't matter who is on the mound. It's literally. On the road in Houston, the Nationals came up and hit, hit home runs, got doubles, got RBIs against two of the hottest pitchers, Garrett Cole and Justin Verlander. And Garrett Cole has not, has not given up five RBIs in a game since May 22nd. May 22nd. And that's the first loss he took. Since I said that, I believe it was May 22nd. Like, just insane, man. Insane. And you could just look on his face. He was so just out of it. He was so just down and just. Even game two, he was like that. And it's like, you gotta do better, I man. You gotta get yourself motivated. You gotta. You gotta Move on from that, you know. And he doesn't look like he could. And that's the problem with a lot of people is that they get on that winning streak. And then once they lose, it's like they just, they feel crushed. They feel like it's the end of the world. And you got to think about it as something better, you know. Like, what can I do to improve? You know, I finally lost. They finally got to me. How, how can I improve? Hitting-wise, pitching-wise, whatever it is. Shooting it, whatever, whatever sport, you know. But Max Scherzer, five, five innings, two. Let's see, no, no, sorry, five hits, two runs, two are two are runs, seven Ks and three, and three walk, walks. Garrett Cole, seven, seven innings, eight eight hits, five earn, five runs, five earn runs, six Ks, and one walk. And he only got six Ks. He averages at least 10 Ks. In the last two games, he hasn't got 10 Ks. Crazy. And Doolittle got the job done. One and 1.1 innings and 1 K. Like, if you really think about it, besides that one inning, really, Gagas hit 7 to the 8. The Nationals just. Dominant man, like 
The Nationals scored in the fourth and the fifth inning. Zimmerman hit a home run to center. Soto hit a home run. Eden, he's been doing work. He's single to right. Still be scored. So did Robis. No, sorry, the Robis didn't score. Sorry, he went to second. My bad. Soto double to left. Robis, Victor Robis scored. Yeah, let's see. This is the one he scored. And then Rondon also scored. Springer hit a home run, which he broke a record for the most home runs, like average streak. Like, and he had five. He had at least one home run in five straight World Series games. And that's, and that's incredible. Congratulations to him. The streak broke, though, last night. Shame. Springer also hit double to right. Tur um, Tucker scored. So they also scored early. Corandal double to left. Springer scored. Two way scored. Which got them that lead, but. Sorry, not, sorry, not, yeah, 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 got them the lead, that's right, got them the lead, and then we came back, and we got it, and then, yeah. So, in game three, we're going to have Zach Greinke against Annabelle Sanchez, the guy that almost threw a no-hitter. Like, he was the closest in the Broadway holiday, and he actually got the no-hitter. So, it's insane how it's going to be Zach Greinke. I mean, he hasn't been that good. It doesn't look good for the Houston Astros. They're gonna have to get. They're gonna get. They're gonna have to get past Sanchez. In the first inning, just watch something happen. Watch the Astros score in the first inning because I think it, they will. It's either that or Sanchez is gonna have an unbelievable game. Like who knows, man, what kind of game it's gonna be. I'm not gonna say he wins because I just hope that the Nationals win the World Series. And they win this game, and then they go in the next game. That's what I'm hoping for. You know, that's all I hope for. I don't care how it gets done. I want the Nationals to get it done. They got to get it done. They're up to zip. We have a lifetime opportunity to win the World Series. Especially at home. They're the first team to do it. would be the first team to win it at home. Since the Boston Red Sox. I don't think the Royals won at home. I believe they won in New York. So. Oh yeah, in news, um, I believe the Cubs um, signed um, their ex-catcher. David Ross. So congratulations to Dave Ross on the manager job. Well, let, me make sure that's, let me make sure that's 100%. Let me go on. Cubs hiring Dave Ross as manager. So, yep, that is right. I was just check. I was double checking. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Wow. Like, that seventh inning, man, that was insane. Like, oh, man. We kept just hitting the ball. And who knows? Who knows what the, if Alex Braverman would have made that play? Who knows? Oh, and the balls are definitely not juiced. They're definitely not juiced. I'm just letting you know. They're not juiced. They definitely went back to normal more, which is good. For the postseason, that's fine. Like, if it's the regular season, it is the way it is. You know, make it exciting. But, like, you know, you can tell they're not juiced. You can definitely tell. A lot of, a lot of these balls, man, would have gotten out. They would have gotten out. But yeah, who knows? The back break wouldn't have made that play. But either way, the Nationals won 12-3. 12-3. That's just insane to even think about a score like that in the World Series. Well, I'm going to get out of here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful night, wonderful day. And yeah, go Nets. Go Nets, baby. Let's go Nets, baby. Come on. Two more wins. Come on. We got this. We got this. Hopefully next time I actually talk to you guys face to face like this, the Washington Nationals will be the World Series champions. Hopefully. Well, guys, go Nets. Peace.